What up, everybody? Effie, being the master chess player that she is, is always staying a step or two ahead of everyone else. And Effie has been at least one step ahead of Tariq ever since being introduced to her in OG Power Season 6. Effie may be a master chess player, but she isn't a trained killer. If she was, she would have made sure to suffocate Lauren after knocking her out and before pushing the car in the water so she would be able to confirm Lauren's death. And this misstep is going to have the world coming down on Effie at some point. The 33rd law of power says to discover each man's thumbscrew or weakness or vulnerability. And Effie has discovered Noma's possible thumbscrew while being in Italy. That Noma has a child. Effie saw how Noma was able to control the crew by threatening Diana, the Weston parents, and Grandma Estelle. Now she plans on evening the playing field by discovering who Noma's daughter is. I've been saying that Ghost would have started making a plan to take out Obi and Noma as soon as his family was threatened and that Tariq hasn't made any type of plan other than moving the work. This tells me that Tariq doesn't have the same level of desire to get out of the game yet that Ghost did. He's saying he's going to get out but that's really just to make Effie happy. And I'm sure Tariq wouldn't mind getting out of the game because we've heard him say stuff like, I think I found another way, talking about another way to stay in the game without going to jail or getting killed. And what if we don't have to look over our shoulders? Tariq actually believes he can stay in the game and make a successful life while avoiding prison, death, or the misery some dealers have of getting hooked on their own product because of the stress that comes with the life. Effie, on the other hand, is a realist and knows she needs to have an exit strategy to get out of the game and get her freedom as she wrote on her card in episode 4. So expect her to be ready to go to ghost-like extremes in her attempts to stay out of prison and to go legit. While in Italy, Tariq and Effie were approached by Noma and Obi and we learned that Noma has an ex-husband by the name of Francesco Lombardi and Francesco Lombardi is one of the richest men in the whole world and also Noma's number one competitor in firearms. Noma sends Tariq, Brayden and Effie to a party at Lombardi's mansion to retrieve a listening device planted by Mecca. Using their connection to RSJ to get on the party's list, they are able to successfully retrieve the listening device and Effie is able to get a tour of Lombardi's infamous art gallery. It is in this art gallery where Effie finds her ticket out of the game and leverage on Noma. A painting of Lombardi, Noma, and a young girl who appears to be their daughter. In Season 3, Episode 1, when first hearing about Noma, Davis asked Tariq, Who is this? Shh. And Tariq said, All I have is a name, Noma. But Noma, underestimating the crew, slipped up and gave some information that they will be able to use to learn more about her. In OG Power, Dre told Crystal Ball that there's advantages to being underestimated. Power Law 21 says, Play a sucker to catch a sucker. Seem dumber than your mark. Noma, not seeing the crew as a threat, gave them a little information into her past that if they want to, they can use to learn more about who she is. Her ex-husband being a very wealthy oil tycoon and they have his first and last name, so they're going to be able to research him better than they were Noma and could possibly find out more into Noma's background and possibly find out who her daughter is and use her as leverage to get out the game. So Effie is going to begin looking into Noma and trying to find out who this mystery child is. Could she at the same time be uncovering her very own hidden past? I've been getting it in my comments for a couple weeks now and been brushing it off, but after seeing that painting, I can't overlook it anymore. Is Effie Noma's long lost daughter? Ironically, Effie told Tariq, 
When you're in this life, your family inherits the risk. When he told her he just wanted his family to be safe. And that's why he sent Tasha and Yaz away and will probably end up sending Grandma Estelle away at some point this season. In the same way, when two major criminal figures, an international drug dealer and a billionaire arms dealer and oil tycoon are a power couple, I'm sure they have a lot of enemies in high places who would love to find a thumbscrew to use to bring them down. Even having a child would have them inheriting the risk of the life their parents were involved in. For this reason, possibly after receiving threats or in a time of war, Noma and Lombardi might have sent Effie off to the States to get a new identity and a fresh start in life. Either though they probably didn't want to do it, this might have been the only option they had to keep their baby girl safe. There's a scene from OG Power where Alicia and Diego Jimenez show up at a man's house to kill him and his wife, but Alicia took their baby with her as her own. In the same type of way, something similar could have happened to Noma and Lombardi, where they may have been in the States and something happens, where Effie was just left abandoned. So Effie has felt her whole life that her parents didn't want her, and they just left her abandoned somewhere. When at show, Effie mentioned that she had a brother who got killed in a robbery gone wrong, and that her mom hasn't been sober a day since. There's a couple explanations for this statement and how she could say this and Noah must still be her mom. The first being that Effie knew that Tariq had just lost his sister Raina right before going to attend show and Effie was using Power Law 43, work on the hearts and mind of others. And she just completely made this story up as a way to relate to Tariq and get him to let his guard down and trust her. The second scenario would be that after being put into foster care as a child, Effie was eventually adopted and this is who she is talking about when she's talking about her mom and brother. Also keep in mind when shopping with Diana, when Diana asked Effie what her parents thought about what she was doing, Effie responded, My parents? Let's just say they leave me alone and I leave them alone. This resentment that Effie has for her parents could be because she doesn't have any real memories with them and all she knows is they either didn't want her or they abandoned her and left her as an orphan. Keep in mind when Obi was threatening everyone else's family members as a production incentive, he called Effie Little Orphan Annie. If anything, they did their research and found out that Effie was a real orphan and the story she told Tariq at Cho was Cap. It might have even been less of a power move and just a lie she told out of insecurity and being ashamed she was an orphan. So right now, it seems as if the world is about to come down on Effie. Tariq is probably going to end his relationship with her after finding out about Lauren and Jenny Sullivan is going to start trying to get her to flip by threatening to charge her with attempted murder. But just as everything is seeming to crash down on Effie and falling apart, her search for Noma's daughter will bear fruit and she will find out who she actually is. And Effie will have what a TV show calls a reversal of fate. Where Effie, the poor little orphan girl who grew up hustling to get by, finds out that she has a powerful and rich mother who wants to spoil her and make up for lost time. This could also bring out a dark, more ruthless side of Effie once Tariq breaks up with her and she finds out about all the power she has backing her. She will be almost untouchable regardless of what she does with Noma protecting her. And there you have it. Do you think Effie is Noma's long lost daughter? Leave your thoughts, theories, and predictions in the comments.